Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. I have a little bit of a haul. Some of it's Hobby Lobby and then a little bit of this, that, and the other. <laughs> so, um, here's some Dollar Tree. I got, everything's piled up here beside me. I can't get to everything Dollar Tree, but I got some hair ties because um, I'm interrupting my um, book that I'm working on and I thought I might use one of these and I want to oh these are way too thick shoot well maybe not I thought that one might look pretty it's kind of hard to tell when you're not with your book you know and you're getting a tie that one might work but it might be too thick to go through the back eyelet and then I thought about that one. It's hard to tell in the store, you know. Oh, I'm going to lose my grot, my hitch post. But anyway, that's why I got those two things. And then I'll just put them in my drawer. I couldn't find any in my drawer, so I must have used all mine up. I didn't have very many, but that's why I got that. I'm interrupting my bookmaking to do my... <laughs> my little thing. I want to put everything away. Um, I also got this because tomorrow, tomorrow, I don't have that book done and tomorrow is the exchange and I got this. We, I guess we give silly little candy things and I thought this was cute. So <laughs> it was in the Easter stuff. <laughs> uh, that won't be nothing. Um, I wonder if I can get the other. This was the other thing I got at uh, Dollar Tree. I thought these were really pretty. Now at our Dollar Tree, what a mess! It looks like they're trying to clean it up. It's so weird there because they'll get in a new manager, I think is what happens, and they'll start getting it all cleaned up and it'll all start looking spiffy and clean and then that person must leave and then it'll go like a dump again. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like they're really starting to clean up, but right next door, see, Target is supposed to open this month. So I bet that's why they're getting it all spiffied up, but there was boxes everywhere, and it was starting to look cleaned up. I forgot I didn't roll down my sleeves after I was washing my hands. Um, but uh, there's the stickers, and it looks like they're cleaning them all up, but down below, there's all kinds of stickers just laying there. And I found these, and I thought they were really pretty. I didn't see any others like them, so I got that for my um, for my exchange. Um, I went to just a moment. I got pull my nose here. Okay, I went to office. No Staples. There's Staples where we went. It says office on it, um, and I got me a date stamp. And it doesn't say. It just says 22. This better be. Um, you know, good, like, better, nowhere does it say what years it goes to. I kind of peeked what I could see, and I think it said 33, but I've got one here just like it that expired the last year, so surely they don't sell one that's expired. <laughs> um, where's the years? Looks like it goes through 27. Okay, good. I have a new stamp. Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, I went to, well, I can't show you everything, but I'll show you a little bit. I got at um, Salvation Army. I thought these were so cute. They're on top here. This one says, art is the only way to run away without leaving home. I love that. It says by Twyla Tharp. And then this one says, Inking of You. <laughs> and um, I don't know. They just have where they came from. Stamp your art, 685 and 450. And, oh, well, no, they, they don't. Stamp in the hand company. This one came from St. Louis. That one came from California. Um, I can't read the company. But anyway, um, 
there was no price on them so I got up to the counter and she said how about 29 cents each I said yes I will take those those are mine <laughs> I'm not giving those away uh, oh I found these at Dollar Tree too I had not seen these I thought these were pretty uh, sorry I'm going back and forth okay now I think I am at Hobby Lobby uh, I found this. I have a, a project that I'm working on too that I'm going to be working on tomorrow at the crop. It's uh, where we did the um, eco dyeing of the papers and, we're, and a wool cover. And so they had these threads on sale for 99 cents each, which is a good deal. So I got a green to do that and I like the I like these threads so I got that I thought 99 cents was a good price on that and then I got two of these I thought these would be good um, neat on little journals uh, I don't think it'll work on this one I might change my mind now I don't think it will because I put this here but I thought they would be neat to do as a wrap on a journal if, you know on a, the right one um, I also want to make somebody a B um, ATC card and I thought that B would be really pretty to put on an ATC card. So I got two of those. They were 99 cents and I'm sure that I will find uses for those. They're just really, really pretty ones. I love blue and that blue is beautiful. I wish I would have had those when I did that um, playing card and it was your birthstone because like this one these two would have been perfect i didn't have it though <laughs> and then i got um, these uh, tell me if i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but i thought these would be cute hanging down in um, certain sections in the little house on the prairie book that i'm doing the journal that i'm doing hanging on the um strings you know I thought that might be pretty they're so sweet I just love them those were 99 cents they were um, $3.99 I absolutely love them and then look at this if I do a little mermaid or a sea one I just that just caught my attention I love the stones in it I don't know that was just a I don't know why I got these um, they're mainly all turned all different ways. But I know I'll be able to use these. They're clock faces mainly. Those were $1.49. Now in my store, most of the clearance were gone. But I did find some good stuff. Now I found these. I only got one clear because I don't have a thing that's clear yet. I probably should have got two or three. there, But I was spending a lot of money already. Um... But I did, did, there was only one of this. Now, I would have got two or three of this because I know I'll use that. But I got those. That helps me with my wax. Now, you guys, can you just use a candle? Can you use just a colored candle to do this? Just my question. I mean, when you see old movies and stuff, they're using a candle. Just a question I have. And I already took this out. I was looking at it last night. It's a flower, but look how teeny tiny it is. <laughs> it was in a little box and it was a dollar something on sale. <laughs> it's cute though. <laughs> My husband said, wouldn't you like to have a bigger handle? And I said, well, I have bigger handles, but I don't know. It should be interchangeable, but I don't know. It's not, but the little handle doesn't bother me at all because, well, I have little hands. That doesn't bother me at all. But I think those are super cute. And um, I got this for $2.24. That's going in my exchange tomorrow. This is Happy Planner. But, it, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a Happy Planner. Everybody can use a pretty bag. And you can put a pin in here. And then the inside is very nice. Very, very nice. And speaking of a pin, that's staple. I found this pin and I just think it's really pretty and it is a very fine tip felt pin so you know every scrapbooker uses those I don't know if it'll fit in here I think it will so I'm gonna put that in there 
So I thought that was pretty. That's a fancy felt tip, fine tip felt pin. <laughs> and I found this. That this one's going to be for my um, um, exchange tomorrow. Eight ninety nine down to two twenty four. I really love the colors there. Oh, oh, I found this. This, these, I love. I'm sure I will find a way to use these in my projects. This one's my favorite. They must have just marked the charms down because the charms were not picked over. But the scrapbooking was very, very picked over. All the Tim Holtz was wiped out. Wiped out. I hope they get it back because, I mean, the whole bottom shelf was empty. There was nothing there. But at the top, uh, there was Tim Holtz there. So surely the bottom will still be Tim Holtz? I hope. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I got this for me because I was just saying I needed flat back pearls. So, um, and this is a good size. So 224 was $8.99. Now, I am hoping that I'm not wrong. Oh, wait. I got a couple more things. And then I'm going to ask you about this. We're going to take it apart. Um, I got these. A dollar twenty-four, and I thought if I did a little sea or a little mermaid, these would be pretty. They're flat back. Aren't those pretty? They were a dollar twenty-four. I thought those were really pretty. I just knocked over my stack of books. Oh dear. And then I do not have much Christmas paper. You guys have heard me say that. So I got this for three forty-nine. Again, there wasn't much paper left. But I was glad I found some Christmas. Now, this is not my exact pick, but I've got all of this year's Christmas pictures to do. And I haven't even done last year's, so I'm going to start with this year's. I'm going to start with current and go backwards. Alright, so now here is what I need something, you know, that will pick up little things and you know, a little picker-upper, and that's what I think this is. I hope it is. I don't even know if I can get to that little thing of things that I want to pick up. My desk is so clever. I see it. There it is. I say this, this stuff. So this, I think, is a small end. Open. So will it pick these out of here for me? Yes! Yes! It's what I wanted. I know you can get the fancy ones online, but can't afford them. This was four dollars. And then I can put it, but it doesn't let go. Like, but it let go, but okay, it let go. Okay. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, good. Have the hardest time. It's got a small side and a big side, which I doubt I ever use that big side. But okay, good. It's called a jewel picker. Good deal. I'll put that over here. I was hoping I picked up the right thing. There was no other choice. Beading, scrapbooking, paper crafting, card making, nail art. Okay, I didn't read it. Okay, so back to um, the. Um, Salvation Army. I picked up this blue book. I like the blue book. This is from 1963. I liked the images in it. Um, look at that. See? Aren't those crisp? Nice images for 1963. So I just liked this one. First thing I'm going to do, oh, I think my husband's home. I got to go um, get the cat locked up so she won't um, try to run out the door and I'll be right back, okay? Sorry about that. It wasn't him. It was the neighbors. The van drops him off. He's been at a doctor appointment. I thought for sure. Oh, if that's him. No. Okay. So, anyway. Um. I really thought this was cool. I like it. So, and these books are only 29 cents. So, see, I just, I think the pictures are so nice. And 
So I will um, see if my friend wants this. She does a lot of canning. And the old ones are really good books, I think. And she does too. And then I got this one. Um, probably, I like this one. And I got this for my friend too. She likes Winnie the Pooh. And this one is an old one. It doesn't have any um, barcode on it. It says 19. It's got a... <laughs> it must have been like in a little library. Maybe a school. Oh, 1975. And it's the older poo style. So I got that for her. Books at the Salvation Army where I shop are 29 cents for children's too. Then, um, uh, I have talked about going to my friend's house and doing the eco printing. She has this big beautiful cabinet and it um, must have been for papers at maybe, I think she said in an attorney's office, but <coughs> anyway, she said open the bottom drawers, the two bottom drawers, you know, across from each other. And we did, and it was full of house mouse stamps. And she said, one of you said that you like, first she said, one of you said you like mice. I'm like, I hate mice thinking mice real life and she said no stamps and we opened it up and it was full of house mouse stamps and I said oh I used to collect those but you know I can't buy them anymore although there was some on sale at um, Hobby Lobby yesterday for like three dollars um, she said well I don't want them she said they were gifted to me with a bunch of other stamps and I have never used them I've had them for years I've never used them they're just not my thing she said, you guys split them up. If you want them, split them up. Oh, we had fun. So I thought I would show you what I got. I think I'll zoom in a little bit because I don't need that much room. You can see it better. So here's my first one. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Wouldn't that go good with that stamp I got that's with this inking of you? <laughs> that will go really good, inking of you. I got another. Oh, that, this one will be good too. Oh, I'm too close. Thinking of you. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. And then I got this one. <laughs> and this one. And we're all going to share. Like if there's one we got that the other one got, they're putting their sunblock on. <laughs> so I'm going to spend some time coloring. This one is absolutely beautiful. And this one is fun. <laughs> Popcorn flying. <laughs> and this one is so pretty for Christmas. And she had more. I may ask her if I can have the rest because she didn't want them. And I felt like I was taking so many. And I love this one. All right. So that is my haul. I think I did pretty good. I had fun. I had lots of fun. I didn't spend a ton of money, but I had fun. And um, so I think, oh, I didn't show you. I got these two. They have some glitter paper back at Dollar Tree too. And um, if you're a paper piecer, you know that this comes in handy sometimes when you're wanting just a little bit of glitter on something. You can't, I don't know if it's coming through, but I got a pink and a red. They're kind of bouncing off of each other, I think. But I got a pink and a red. I didn't notice that on my pink when I picked it up. They had like orange, blue, green, like Christmas green. They didn't have any gold or any silver. Ah! <laughs> That's what I use most of my paper pieces for glitter. But anyway, thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day, and I'll be seeing you soon on another book installment, because that's next. <laughs> I'm going to get right with it and get this thing done today. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.